well, we open Chimera and then we fletch the proteins by its PDB ID. We are going to use uh, some beta lactoglobulins or BLGs. It's a protein that I used for my Bachelor of Science thesis. Fletched here they are. It's a protein from milk. Well, first we're going to clean all structures from any compound that is not part of the protein or ligand. Yeah. Okay, we select them and then we eliminate them with delete. Okay, well, I think that those were all. Here are the, those are the, the ligands. But now we are going to align the proteins using the, the tool called Matchmaker. Here, using the 1EXA as template, using the default configuration rate. There they are, totally aligned. You can see that they are very alike. Those are the ligands in the middle at the catalytic site. Well, yeah, the calyx. Well, we're going to save the session, so if we do something wrong, we can start over from from something. That is not the very beginning. Okay. I have to find the the folder, the file. Okay. Here they are. Okay. Save it using the name that you want. Then save it. Okay. Right now, we open the session that we did earlier. You are I'm going to open just to show you that works. Yeah, Chimera. Okay. Here it is. Right now, we are going to select all the ligands, and then I'm going to delete them so because I want to prepare the receptor and also I'm going to eliminate all the other receptors except one that is going to one that I'm going to use for the docking okay here it is you see it's totally alone uncleaned okay now we are going to prepare this receptor with duct prep. Here, using the default configuration, we are going to add hydrogens, charges, and write uh, mole to file. OK, OK. Click OK. Here is hydrogen default parameters. Then charges. And we're going to save it here as receptor or rec charged mole two. Good. Then we are going to create another receptor but without hydrogens. This is important because we are going to use this structure to to pre to for our docking. Okay, eliminate the hydrogens, then save the receptor but as PDB. Here it is. 
example, I choose the name rec, no h, pdb, okay, save. Okay, here it is. Well, we're going to close the session and we are going to reopen the session that we saved before. Okay, we are going to, but in this case, we are going to select only the ligands and we're going to delete the receptors because we want to prepare the ligands. Okay, you see? Here they are. Well, now we're going to save again another session. So if something wrong happens, just in case. Okay. Okay, select the ligand. We're going to select the palmitic acid. And then we're going to erase the, the rest because we have to prepare each ligand separately. Here, okay, you can see that it's alone. Okay, using the same tool, duck prep, we're going to add hydrogen charge just and we're going to write a mole to file. Here it is. Okay, okay. Using the default parameters. Which is leg charged. Mole 2, yes. Here is, you can see. Okay, now again, we are going to reopen the session and uh, in this situation we are going to select the other ligands and prepare them separately using the same schematics, the doc prep hydrogens and charges okay yes okay but this time I'm going to name this ligand as lick charged 2 or lick 2 charged save Okay, for the rest of the ligands, we're going to do the same.
Well, that's it for the ligands and the receptor. For the next video, we're going to create the spheres. Thanks for watching this video.